What's up everybody, Vlock is here and today I want to show you my compact multi-purpose configurable infinite farm that I made with CreateMod. And that was a lot of words, wasn't it? Um, basically this farm can produce gold, iron and glass at variable rates. But by default this is a gold farm and it will produce gold if you don't adjust any of the settings. But you can switch most of the gold production to iron or glass or choose to mix and match your yield. But before I show you this machine in action, I want to thank everybody who subscribed and supported me and helped me get to 1000 subscribers. The last 3 months have been super fun with you guys and with CreateMod and Mechanic Crafters and all of that good stuff and I truly appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed yet, then you might as well go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the club. Alright, so now it's time to talk about this machine. At the very top, I have this cobblestone generator with drills attached to it. I tried a few different methods to get the least amount of cobblestone stuck in the system and I decided to add a set of crushing wheels for each two drills and that increased the production and made it as fast as possible without any bottlenecks. So with the machine in its default state, the cobblestone will get crushed into gravel and then it gets passed down to the second set of crushing wheels where it gets crushed into sand, flint and clay. At this point, we discard everything other than the clay directly into the lava. And now the clay goes into this basin and each four pieces of clay will get pressed into a clay block. The clay blocks will then drop down onto the depot below it and get smelted by the lava. And I wasn't sure that the lava would work with the chute in front of it like this, but it worked without any issues. The only thing is that you can't smelt anything behind the chute with this method. And once smelted, the clay block will turn into a terracotta block and will go into the next set of crushing wheels, which will crush the terracotta into red sand. And finally, the red sand gets deposited into this wash station where it will get washed, which turns it into gold nuggets and dead bushes, and both of those go into the basin as they are set in the filter. The dead bushes keep moving down while the gold nuggets get pressed into gold ingots. And once pressed, they'll pass into this chest and stay there, while this funnel down here will take all the trash and discard it into the lava. That includes the dead bushes as well as all the flint that will come down when we set this machine to iron mode. But before we actually change the mode, let me show you what's happening up here. Right here, between the first and second set of crushing wheels, I built a small mechanism that lets us stop the gravel from going down into the system and instead getting it diverted out of these funnels and onto the conveyor belt. These torches right here make sure that the funnels are locked by default, keeping the machine in gold mode. But when we start to push the adjustable lever that I have below, we'll start to switch these to iron mode one set of crushers at a time. So let's head down and enable iron mode so you can see this in action. As you see, I have an adjustable lever and a Nixie tube so we can see how much iron we're making. So let's set this to 5 for example. And now if we go up, we'll see that we have 3 of the side funnels unlocked, diverting the gravel to the iron farm. We still have 4 units feeding the gold farm. And I kept this main front part here connected to the gold farm permanently so that there will always be a small percentage of gold being made regardless of the setting. But if we go down again and turn this lever all the way up to 11 or anything above that, we will have a tiny percentage left for gold and the rest will be producing iron. As you see when the gravel gets pulled out of the side funnels we looked at, it then goes directly into this chest and then through this long chain of funnels all the way down to the same wash station below. So we'll simply wash the gravel into iron nuggets and flint and just like with the gold, the iron will get pressed into ingots and the flint will get disposed of in the lava below. And finally, as long as the iron lever isn't turned all the way up, we can flick this lever and switch on glass production. Glass production won't take over the supply like iron but we'll simply grab as much sand as a single funnel can grab from this conveyor belt right here and then the funnel empties the sand into these hoppers, this chest and then this chute where they fall in front of the lava and get smelted into glass. Once smelted, the glass will go into this chest and then into the same funnel chain that goes all the way down to the wash station. And since glass cannot be washed by default, it will just go through the filter and sit in the final chest. So this farm can technically produce iron and gold in any variety of percentages, up to 90% iron. Glass can be produced alongside anything else and its production amount will barely get affected by other settings. Unless iron production is turned all the way up, then there can't be any glass production. 
I hope this wasn't too confusing. Um, I tried to stay mindful of materials because I really want this machine in my survival world. It requires a little over 80,000 stress units to run, so I imagine it's gonna cost me some, but it won't be super expensive to keep it powered. I would say maybe 4 or 5 furnace engines. And then I'd also like to suggest to run this at the full speed of 256 RPM, or else it will have a backlog of materials, which is never a good thing. And before I leave you today, I wanted to mention that I've included the schematic file in the description, but make sure you test it out in creative mode first if you plan on using this machine, because sometimes lava and water can cause issues in schematics, and also check to make sure that none of the mechanical presses are stuck after you start the farm. And now I think I've covered everything I wanted to say about this machine. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, and thank you for watching.